Howdy folks, welcome to 29 tips for Red Dead Online. Number one, lose the dead zones on your control settings. Just trust me, it makes everything way easier. Number two, change your controller settings to hold instead of tap. This makes everything where you have to tap your button to holding it. Number three, stop buying normal ammo after you've unlocked special ammo. You'll now always get special ammo bonuses and you'll never have to worry about reloading your specific type of ammo. Number four, cook big game meat with different kinds of herbs to get fortified cores depending on which core you want to be fortified. Number five, go to Caliban Seat to get tobacco for snake oil. Number six, if you need to level up your Deadeye, hunt and skin birds in Lemoyne. Anywhere on the map, I guess, but Lemoyne's just the easiest place for me to find birds. Number seven, if you need to level up your stamina, run in circles around your camp, or try to play melee only in Showdown Series Large. That's my preferred method. Number eight, buy two horses, one for the speed and one that's good around predators. It's great if you can get them both wrapped in one, but for a lot of early level players, that's not an option. Number nine, don't buy horse insurance. It's a scam. Number 10, you can dive while in combat if you aim and then hit square. Now this will consume a chunk of stamina. Number 11, serpentine or bob and weave when running in Slippery Bastard. This makes it a lot harder to hit you, obviously, but it's really the only option against people who are using paint it black. Number 12, if you're in a free roam challenge or free roam mission, don't be afraid to die. You'll respawn very close to where you were and in oftentimes you'll be in a better position to do whatever you were trying to do and you'll have more health. Obviously you can't do that in like story missions if you're trying to get a certain rating or a certain payout, but in most free roam missions that's totally, totally fine. Number 13, defensive mode is great for when you don't want to be hassled by anybody, so if you want to go just enjoy the free roam world, defensive mode is awesome. Number 14, if you kill other players, take their pelts, or hurt their horses, your hostility level will increase, making it so you can't go into defensive mode. Number 15, if you happen to incur a bounty, you can pay that off at any post office or at your camp. Number 16, your camp actually has an ammo and supplies chest where you can store items that you've purchased via the catalog. And number 17, the catalog is accessible even when you're not playing via the companion app or via the website. Number 18, for the most part, tonics are a total ripoff, so if you can avoid it, just craft them. Now, if you're in a PvP session with your boys, I get it. For the most part, just craft as many as you can. Number 19, you only need to buy one saddle. You can only ride one horse at a time, unless you're setting up defaults, but if you're setting up defaults, then you already know what you need to do. Number 20, you can actually select a default loadout out the gunsmith. Now the game does have some glitches so this changes all the time. However it is very helpful to set a new default loadout. You can go to the gunsmith and you can equip at the gunsmith whatever weapons you want in whatever spots and then that is what the default will be when you load into a mission or when you load into a showdown. Like I said sometimes there's some bugs with it but for the most part it's pretty well done. Now staying at the gunsmith number 21 changing the metals of varnish and wood grain are only cosmetic and have no actual impact on the weapon. Number 22, you should always upgrade the barrel to long, upgrade the rifling, and add iron sights, and if possible, add a leather wrap to your regularly used weapons. If you're using any weapon regularly, I recommend you do all of these things to it. It is just so that you have the best performing weapon that you can. And if you're wondering what the leather wrap does, it makes it so that weapon degradation is slower, so you have to use less gun oil. And if you've never used gun oil, this is a bonus tip, I guess, uh, go clean all your guns right now, because I bet they're disgusting. Number 23, don't forget to use the cover feature. Often players totally forget about this feature and it makes it all the more useful. As long as you make sure your head's not sticking out, it's actually really, really useful. I and mean, you can plan your shots a little bit and get the jump on some enemies who might have had the jump on you originally. Number 24, ability cards are important, but they change in usefulness all the time. For example, the best PvP setup for Showdown Series Large will be a different card loadout than the best gun rush loadout, and the same is true for free roam, hunting, etc. So just use whatever you want to use, but take into consideration that every setup you've seen is just what is best for that specific person's playstyle. So it's not going to be what's best for you, uh, and it's usually a combination of two or three things that provide a best overall loadout, and then in general, um, it's best to have, you know, one or two that you swap between, between whatever you're playing as. So if you're playing in free roam, you're probably going to have a different setup than you are for PvP, and even within a few games in PvP, you're probably going to have different setups as well. That's totally normal. There's not one amazing god setup. Number 25, make sure you use your Deadeye card. If you aren't using Deadeye, you're probably having a worse time than your fellow cowpokes and this is important for a lot of reasons because a lot of Red Dead Online revolves around Deadeye and a lot of people have totally omitted it from their playstyles because it doesn't slow time down like it did in the story mode. I totally understand that. You can even just use it
it to heal you if you want so you don't even have to use it as a combat mechanism you can use it more as like a healing potion if you want however I would recommend just make sure you make use of that dead eye card slot because everybody else is and if you're not um, everybody else basically has magic and you don't so I would uh, I would make sure that you get on that if you're not currently using it number 26 you can actually auto ride on any path that you've set on the map so if you go open the map and you set an X somewhere out in Amberino and you're gonna ride there from tumbleweed you can do that automatically by starting your path like manually so you're gonna ride your horse manually down that road and then you're gonna hold the cinematic camera button while continuing to tap and hold the uh, the a or X button depending on your console and then that will auto ride your horse you might have to hold a or X depending on you know how fast you you input all the buttons together at the same time but you your horse will auto ride in the cinematic camera all the way to your destination and they won't even stop when their stamina gets tired out you will have to continually make them run um, but for some reason the circumvents the stamina and all that so you can just continually auto ride sometimes like I said it does slow down but they will always speed back up if you button mash a number 27 if you want to be alone in any part of the map we'll use Sandini for this example um, here's what you're gonna want to do you're gonna spawn into New Austin so the opposite side of the map from where you want to go and then fast travel to Sandini or to you know Colt or wherever wherever it is you're looking to go um, and have it be unpopulated and there will not be many people there if any depending on what lobby you've gotten in um, this is a fairly common trick so sometimes people will use it so sometimes you'll see people around the fast travel posts in San Denis because it's just a common trick now however um, it's definitely going to be way less populated than the new Austin side was when you spawned into it that's just the way the servers work so and number 28 if you want to pick an herb again run away for about 15 seconds turn around and run back and the herb should have respawned shout out to the last dead eye for teaching me that one and finally number 29 you can actually stock up on dynamite and the fire bottles in the showdown lobby almost completely emitting the fence aside from when you need to go buy pamphlets so considering how rare that is it's kind of annoying to have to go to the fence unless you're regularly in San Denis and I know a lot of folks avoid San Denis so you know if you're not in San Denis and you're not really willing to ride up to thieves landing then you're probably not in earshot of a fence most of the time so instead of having to ride out there you can literally just quick join a showdown buy stuff from the main menu and then quit to free roam before you even load into the game it's super easy and it's how I buy dynamite pretty much exclusively all right well that was it so I hope you guys did enjoy this video this is a different video than I typically do here I've never I don't think ever actually done like a top anything list so um, let me know if you guys like this video with a like down below if you really want to help me out just click on another one of my videos on the sidebar um, that is pretty much the best way to help out any youtuber that you like um, so specifically we're using me as this example just go ahead and click one of my videos on the sidebar um, and then after that you can decide whether or not you want to subscribe so I'm not worried about it no pressure but thank you guys for watching I appreciate your viewership if you guys have been subscribed for a while thank you guys for tuning in we're growing so much lately it's insane um, I know I say that a lot but it's just cool how much the hard work that I've been putting in gets rewarded um, and all the nice comments that you guys leave and stuff so just trying to make these videos better and better and better for you guys so thank you guys like I said for tuning in if you're new here like I said go ahead watch another video then decide if you want to stick around um, I would love to have you and I'll see you guys very very soon with a brand new Red Dead online video Peace. howdy folks uh, editor pineapple here I just wanted to jump in here and say uh, I wanted to thank everybody for subscribing I know I already said that in this kind of tail end here um, but we passed 10,000 subscribers and as I was trying to figure out what to do for 10k um, we hit 11k so I, I want to say thank you guys because it's really crazy that this is actually a thing that I get to do um, and I, I wanted to say that like this this is really surreal for me um, and to, to hit this kind of these kind of numbers you know I've been having channels that are like 50 subscribers like my whole life um so you know and I've, I've started like a bunch of gaming channels so it's just really cool to see um the support kind of rally around this one and uh, i really appreciate it like it, it means a lot to me um i appreciate it and i in a way i feel like a lot of people kind of don't um and I, it's not to throw shade at any other youtubers i've just been literally doing this for like 10 years and then in the last uh or 12 now and in the last like six months um there's actually been viewers so it's uh i don't know it's kind of cool it's a cool uh you know turn of events I guess you should say or you could say um, but it regardless I wanted to say thank you guys because I, I haven't been making milestone videos because traditionally they don't do very well um, and then I was gonna make one for 10k just because it's 10,000 subscribers and that's crazy uh, and then literally I couldn't even get the idea down on paper before we hit 11k so 
I don't really know exactly what the plan is, uh, but I, I definitely wanted to add this here at the end, and I feel like this video might do kind of well, so I, I wanted to add it here because I, I feel like this is the most traction it'll get, essentially, the most noticed it'll get, so thank you guys so much for um, all the support lately and, and pushing the channel to crazy heights that I never really thought it would be at, um, especially this early in its life cycle, so, um, like, for the record, I started this whole thing on November 6th, and, uh, yeah, I don't know, it's crazy, so thank you guys so much, um, I just wanted to add this here so <laughs> thank you guys for uh, sticking with me and i'll see you guys very very soon with a brand new red dead online video Bruce.